Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about horizontal tangents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals a negative cosecant of x on the interval from negative pi to pi, and we want to find the points where the tangent line to the function is horizontal. Well, first thing we want to do is find the derivative here of our cosecant. So the f prime of x here, the negative stays out front, so let's call it negative 1 here. And the derivative of cosecant x is a negative 1, or negative, cosecant x cotangent of x. Now we can simplify this a little bit more, f prime of x, negative 1's cancel each other out, or multiply to be positive 1, and so we have cosecant of x and cotangent of x being multiplied there. Now that's where it becomes tricky. We can set each one now equal to zero, because remember, we want to find where the tangent line of the function is horizontal, where the derivative is equal to zero. Since there's multiplication here, we can see where cosecant of x is equal to zero and cotangent of x is equal to zero. So let's write that out, cosecant of x is equal to zero, and then cotangent of x is equal to zero. Now, one thing we know about cosecant of x is that it never is equal to zero. So we actually don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about where cotangent of x is equal to zero. Cotangent of x equals zero twice, if you remember this. It happens twice at x equals negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now, when I say twice, it's within our interval of negative pi to pi. Right? We know it hits infinitely many times, right? But and within the interval, it's from negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So what we want to do now is find the y values of that, uh, of the x values there. Remember, these x values are where the function's horizontal, and the tangent line's horizontal, and they want the coordinate points. We need to find the y value. So we use our original function up here, and let's do negative pi over 2 first. It is a negative cosecant of a negative pi over 2. We're going to do the same thing with pi over 2. And for x value, negative cosecant of pi over 2 here. And what are they equal? Well, the negative cosecant of negative pi over 2 cancels out the negatives, and we have a positive 1 there. The negative cosecant of pi over 2 is a negative 1. And so with that, our coordinate points here are negative pi over 2, comma, a positive 1 and a pi over 2, comma, a negative 1. And these two coordinate points are where the tangent line of our original function is horizontal. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math.